hi guys so uh, basically in this video I would be uh, showing you how to like what are the different bases so we uh, normally you get uh, bases in three kinds which is a uh, cream based and which are sorry which are cream based foundations or liquid based foundations or powder based foundation so in this tutorial I would be teaching you how to use the powdered uh, based foundation or pressed powder foundation and for that I would be using makeup revolutions protection palette which looks something like this and the one the variant which I would be using is a uh, medium so it comes with three concealers one pressed powder uh, a shade for bronzer and a blush and a highlighter so it's a pretty good palette uh, like you're getting pretty much everything in it now the trick is like uh, you could either just use a sponge i, I am you i'm going to be using this sponge I've, uh, like cut it into two halves so i can like because it's too big so you can always use like you know cut it into half and use half of it uh, for once and these are disposable and very easily available and you get smaller ones as well i prefer the smaller ones because they're easy to reach out like under your eye or the inner corner uh, um, and so those ones are better and they come they look something like this but i've run out of those like this one is a dirty one so i've run out of these so i'm using this one because this is and this is as you can see slightly bigger so anyhow so you can use the pressed powder with one of these sponges or one of the other sponges which you normally get with pressed powder which looks something like this so uh, it's not really a sponge sponge it has got a cloth kind of a thing i got this with my loose powder from trilin and I, I could have used this that one as well but i prefer using this and you'll know why so what i'm gonna do is you can use your pressed powder directly as well just put it on the sponge put it all over like you know just blend it over your face or you can just dip the sponge in the water make sure there is no excess water so it should not be like the water should not be dripping i've already dipped it so make sure the water is not like dripping dripping but it's wet enough so what i'm gonna do is i am going to take the product on my um sponge so i uh, i got the colored sponge specifically so you're able to see the product so it looks something like this so what happens is that if you wet wet the sponge and then you use it then obviously you'll get a bit more coverage because the product is going to stick to your skin uh, because it's wet and uh, another thing is that before you start anything like you start to put on any base it's really really important that you put on your primer and before that you clean your face very well and moisturize it so i've already done that i have uh, cleaned my face i've uh, put on my moisturizer i have even primed my skin so now i'm going to use this I'll, show, I'll do half of my face <clears throat> so you can see the difference you can go over your eye as well make sure you prime your eyes too before you do this so just around the corner of your nose as well never ever ever this is a really important step, step which is <clears throat> never ever forget to do your neck while you're doing your base because even if you get the color wrong it would not be as much visible just because it will be covering your neck as well so it would not look that silly so I've done half of my face and I don't need to powder this one. So that's the difference between uh, powdered foundation and liquid and cream based foundation. You don't really need to uh, powder the powdered foundation after once you're done with it. So you can see the difference. This one looks more evened out. I, all the redness from hair like around my cheek is gone and you can see the redness over here. And even like my marks, it's like it gives you 
some coverage not as much coverage as uh, a liquid foundation would give or uh, a cream based foundation would give so i would say at least 40 percent coverage you would get with this and this is ideal for summers or like especially when you're going to be sweating and uh, easy to you know, like give a touch up touch up and also for humid weather so for this season for right now i would definitely recommend this palette and i would definitely recommend you any pressed powder foundation and not a liquid or a cream based foundation so i hope you like the video please comment below and uh, if you have any queries you can uh, just drop in a mail and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye bye